No one would have believed in the last years of the 19th century that this world was being watched keenly and closely by intelligences greater than man's and yet as mortal as his own. As men busied themselves about their various concerns, they were scrutinised and studied, perhaps as narrowly as a man with a microscope might scrutinise the transient creatures that swarm and multiply in a drop of water. Yet across the gulf of space, intellects, vast and cool and unsympathetic, regarded this earth with envious eyes. Slowly and surely they drew their plans against us. We might have seen the danger to us much earlier. We did not understand that for countless centuries Mars had been in a state of war. Scientists watched the red planet but failed to interpret what they observed. Meanwhile the Martians were preparing their invasion. In 1894, a great light was seen at the Lick Observatory. Then an astronomer on Java saw what he called a jet of fire on the planet. It started around midnight and disappeared 15 minutes later. This mass of flaming gas, chiefly hydrogen, was moving with an enormous velocity towards this earth. The astronomer compared the flame to gases fired from a gun. The next day there was nothing of this in the papers except a little note in the Daily Telegraph. The world was ignoring one of the gravest dangers that ever threatened the human race. 